Good morning, USC. My name is Sarah Withers, and I'm here with the up-and-coming country music star, Logan Brill. Logan, thank you so much for being here thank today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I'm really happy to be here. <laughs> of course. So while it's still fresh on our minds, please tell us what Stagecoach was like, the energy, the crowd, everything. It, it was so much fun. I mean, it was like kind of my first time in that part of the country. So even just driving in, I was like amazed with the scenery. <laughs> that was like the first kind of impression that I got. Um, and then just the energy at the festival was off the charts. It was crazy. Um, I got in a little early. I was able to see a couple shows on Saturday night. So I saw Dirks Bentley and Miranda Lambert and uh, their shows were amazing. And then being able to play on Sunday was out unreal. It was so much fun. That the is audience so cool. was really, really great. So yeah, it was good. So you released your first album, Walking Wires, in 2013. Mm -hmm. And Shut Eye, your newest album, is set to release later this year. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us a little bit about what makes this album different from the last one and how you've grown throughout this process? Yeah, definitely. Um, so my first record was my first record. It was, you know, obviously a learning experience for me in a lot of ways. Um, and I think coming into the second record, I kind of had my footing a little bit more as far as like knowing the process and being able to go into the studio and having done it before was was really fun. Um, so yeah, and I think like musically, I feel like it's definitely an evolution for me as an artist. Um, I feel like it rocks a little more than the last one, which has really okay, been fun cool. to play live. I kind yeah. of have recently been able to play the new stuff out. Um, like Stagecoach was kind of one of the larger shows that I've been able to share the new music. And I feel like it's been just so awesome to see how it's gone over. I feel like everybody's moving, everybody's dancing, everybody's hopefully enjoying it as much as I am on stage. So yeah, it's been great. You have some really exciting news. In May, you're making your Opry debut. I am, yes, I'm so excited. That is so cool. And for those of you that don't know, it's basically the show that made country music famous. I mean, how are you preparing for this really monumental step in your career? I mean, it's really a rite of passage. It, yeah, it absolutely <laughs> is. Um, the, when I got the phone call uh, to you know telling me that I was going to be able to play, I was so ecstatic. I of course called all of my family members <laughs> right away, and I'm super excited because you know it's close enough to Knoxville that I have tons of family coming in for it. Um, I really feel like I, I'm going to be shaking like a leaf, like right <laughs> backstage right before I play. I'm going to be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this, but. I'm just so excited. It's like you said, a rite, rite of passage. So it's going to be a, a big step for me in my career, I think. So, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. So I was curious, since you went to college majoring in French and minoring in vocal performance, did you know from the get-go that you were going to pursue the singer-songwriter career? Or was that sort of a passion you cultivated at your time in school? That's a really good question. I, I, think, um, I think I definitely kind of cultivated it as I went along. I always mm -hmm. knew that music was something that I needed in my life um, and I think I was always I, I think before I went to you know move to Nashville and kind of saw all these other people doing it as a career I think I was honestly kind of afraid to pursue it because it was you know all these you know practical things are in your mind like oh you should go do something that's you know not right. <laughs> having you travel around in a van and sleep on floors yeah. and you know be a starving artist and all these different things but um, I just feel like my path was sort of laid out in a way um, that made me realize like I really can't do anything else and that's really what makes me the, the happiest. So yeah, it definitely was, uh, you know, an evolution for me going through, you know, my first couple years in Nashville. We have a lot of musicians here at USC and a lot of people pursuing music careers. What piece of advice could you give them that from either something you've learned or something someone has told you that would really help in sort of the... Uh, the crazy entertainment industry you're navigating? Um, there are so many things that people have told me along the way, so many people I've met who have been in the business for so long giving me advice. Um, but I feel like at the end of the day, um, I just kind of always remind myself why I do this. And I think that's what I would tell everybody, you know, don't, don't ever lose sight of, you know, why you do what you do, why you do music. Mm -hmm. Working hard and knowing who you are and also just not forgetting why you do it. So, yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much for being with us here today. I'm Sarah Withers. And I'm Logan Brill. And stay tuned for the release of Shut Eye coming this summer, and it's on pre-order on iTunes right now. Thank you for watching The Scoop, and stay tuned for more of your favorite scoopage up next.